Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you about debounce. Uh, you might be wondering, what is debounce? Well, debounce is a type of cooldown or reload or something like that. Um, yeah. So, so what debounce does is, uh, when, some, when something happens, you have to wait this many seconds until you can reactivate what happened. So, let's get on to it. So, this, in this tutorial, our example would be when you step on a uh, part. So, let's just do that. Okay, so now we got our part. Let's just insert a script. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, first, so in order to, for it to detect that we're, uh, we're touching it, then we're going to start off with an a event uh, built in inside the part called touched. So script.parent uh, dot touched connect function and there's a variable called hit. So you might not know how this works. So script.parent, this is the script and the parent is, uh, and since the script is inside the part, the part has to be the parent. And then dot touch is the event, and you just in an event you do this thing called connect function. So hit is a variable of what is it an object variable, and the object is whatever touched it. So first things first, we're going to need to make it. We're going to make it uh, so it it will only continue the script if it is an actual player because you don't want like the base plate and the part touching each other and I'll think that's a player but it's not so let's go on to this so if game not players which is the service players and then there's a there's a function called get player from character it's kind of like find first child but it's trying to find the character and workspace so instead of a string, we are doing it. In, we're doing it object. So you just do hit that parent. So if uh, so if the uh, if you if it's if the parent of the hit is the player in the game, so then we can print. Um, let's say let's just say player has been found okay so if we test that then it should uh, put that in the output as you can see every time we collide with the part it says the player has been found but here's a problem it keeps doing it as fast as it can and this tutorial is about debounce and we don't want this so we're going to make a cooldown so let's make it towards every half of a second it will print so the cooldown will be half a second so first we need our boolean variable which is true or false so local um, debounce and we'll set this a variable to false you can set it to true if you want but I just stick with false it's your, uh, it's your choice. It doesn't really matter. And we can add an if statement. So, if not debounce, then... So, this might seem confusing at first, but it's actually pretty simple. This is just like an abbreviated way for saying if a boolean is not, is for, if a boolean is set to false. So meaning since this debounce is set to false, then if the debounce is set to false, well, which this is an abbreviated way or something like that, it's just like an easier way, like a faster shortcut or something. But if you set this to true, then we would uh, put the uh, delete the not and we will just do debounce because then it would mean if a boolean is set to true. So if debounce is set to True, but I want to stick with false, so we just stick with not debounce. And then we got to make it towards it won't activate until the cooldown is over. 
So we will set the debout to true because if it was true, then the, it wouldn't uh, continue the script if you touch it again. So, uh, but if we just leave it like this, you will only it will only print one time, which you want for some uh, things. Uh, like if you want something to activate only once, but we want this to activate as many times as possible until the sh server shuts down. So then we add our cooldown, which we want this to be half a second. And then we set our debounce back to false. So yeah. If you want, you can make a cooldown variable. So local cool, uh, cool uh, down or cooldown. I'm just gonna stick with this for cooldown. Yeah, uh, no one cares. Cooldown, yeah, let's just do like that. Equals 0 0.5. So we can just do cooldown. Okay. So it'll work either way. Okay, so. So if you look in our output, it only activates every half a second. As you can see, it's not like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. It's just uh, a different amount because we added a debounce in it. And that's pretty much what debounce is. It's actually pretty important, especially if you're making tools for your game. The debounce would be really uh, important. So, yeah, there are actually uh, more ways to do debounce, but... Uh, I'd stick with this way because it is much easier and it's less complex than the other ones. So, yeah, that's pretty much debounce. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And if you want more tutorials, which you probably will get, um, then uh, uh, subscribe to this channel, like the video, uh, whatever. That way you can find more tutorials. Yeah, see you in the next one. See you later.